a mother or a warrior. There's a new movie was released recently on the Netflix known as Miss Chatterjee vs. Norway. This is a true story about a mother whose two kids has been taken away from her by Norwegian government. And the reason is they say that those both mother and father are not fit to be a parent. Let's start. Now a little introduction. Sagarika Chakrabarti and her husband, Anurup Bhattacharya. They live both in Norway and settle there. Sagarika moved with her husband in 2007 in Norway. She gave a birth to her first kid, his son, Abhigyan, in 2008. And she gave birth to her daughter, Ashwarya in 2010. Now the story. In 2011, both children, Abhi and Ashwarya, was taken away by the Child Welfare Services of Norwegian government. As a reason, they declare that both parents, mother and father, are unfit to be a good parent. Allegation from the Nor Norwegian government was that both parents feed children with their hand, which is a form of force feeding in, in Norway. Second, they also claim that they saw the mother slapping one of the child. Third, they claim that both parents sleep with the kids on the same bed. And also, mother uses the black mark on the child, which in Indian context to be believed, they're protecting their children against a devil eye or harm. But in, in, in Norwegian context, this is not nothing natural. This is not common there. As, she, as it seems that there is no one to help her, including her own husband, won't help her. So mother takes matter in her own hands. So basically she started meeting with these other mothers, group of other mothers, whose children have been taken away. So the other mothers, they explain this as state-sponsored kidnapping. As, as she's already scared of what the other people have said. So again she takes matter in her own hands. She secretly locates her children of that foster care home, she takes them out, technically kidnap them, take them out, uh, take a train to the Sweden. And from there, uh, she get caught and brought back to the Norway. So as there's no option, mother knows, and uh, she knows there's no other way to handle the situation. At that time, she knows Mrs. Miss Krishnan, she was there to do a, a deal in Oslo. So she meets with Miss uh, Miss Krishnan and um, and as per diplomatic pressure, they finalize a deal. They say that the Norway say that okay, we will release the children, but not to the mother, but to the uncle. Um, name is Anu uh, Arunabhas Arunabhas Bhattacharya and a grandfather in West Bengal in two thousand twelve. At this point, Sagarika can take a breather, as they know that kids has been. His kids will go back to India to the uncle and grandfather. But fight was still pending. It was far away from result. Hence, uh, the problem was that her marriage has been falling apart because of this fight and uncle and grandfather was not as friendly anymore. So Sagarika decides to file a case in an Indian court to take, her, uh, take the ch children's custody back once again. There was a new fact presented in the court that time. They found that uncle and grandfather who was taking care of children was receiving money from the Norway. That was the first fact. Second, Sagrika has extremely well mental condition as per psychologist. So all the facts that were proved in Norway was misleading and wrong. Hence, in 2013, Justice Dispunker decided that, we, uh, that mother should get the custody of her children back. Currently, the mother, Sagrika, she works as a software engineer in one of the companies. She's settled and well and have her two children and happy. Now, here's a small summary for the story. For always fight for what's yours. If the path is correct, you will get success no matter what. Anyways, this is Josh. Um, and next time I'll present you another story. I'm signing out. Bye.